Okay, uh, now we're going to set up uh, RS Logics 500 8.3. And uh, 8.3 is a pretty good program. It's the last one that we can use to activate with a master disk without using Factory Talk uh, authorization. Um, so, this is the last one that will activate with the master disk. And 8.3 has the Micrologics 1400B in it. So this is really good. It covers most of the uh, hardware we'll be using. Um, so we just double click it. It's an executable program. And it sets up really fast. Okay, hit next, accept the agreement, and hit next. Okay, now this 10-digit uh, serial number is different than all the rest of all the software. Uh, you'll pick your serial number text, serial number text, and we'll pick in this number right here for the Logic Pro. And we'll paste this in. This is the only one that's different, except for uh, RS Tune, which is missing the first first four numbers. Uh, so you hit next, and this will activate with the master disk. And you hit complete. We want to complete setup all features. Hit next. No, uh, don't enable Factory Talk Security. We don't want that. And say next. And install. Okay, here's our release notes. And we hit finish. All right, now we need to click on RS Emulate 500. RS Emulate 500. And we run its setup exec. And we just hit next and agree and next and it doesn't need a serial number it's just put in a dot for your organization and hit next and we want the complete setup next and install And there's the release notes for version 6. Now, this is important. Um, this will only support a Micrologix 1400A. Uh, the 8.3 will support the 1400B for programming, but as a simulation, you can only do a 1400A. The emulator will not support a 1400B. So that's important. Okay, finish. Uh, we can come to our start menu, our programs, Rockwell Software, 500 English. Now what I like to do is drag this, we can just click on this and start it, but hold down control and then push down with your mouse pointer and drag it up here. You can drag this on the desktop and now you got a, we'll go ahead and drag it up here, put our soft logics and 5000 together. You haven't installed this yet. We'll, we'll install it later in the video. Uh, but here's your 500 English. Then go start programs, Rockwell software, and we want RS Logics 500 emulate. We come over and start our Logics emulate 500. But again, hold down Control, push down with the mouse, and drag it to the desktop, and there you got it. So you got your 500, we start it up, it says activation has been detected. You're using the AV RSI activation, and in the future, it'll be replaced by factory talk activation. We just hit OK, we're activated. And under help, you'll see we're activated. There's our serial number and our prefix, 
this license to window user and now we can actually start a new program we might go like um, uh, a Micrologix 1400 B see us in here and okay and there you go uh, click on the frame right here you see this one here is highlighted it's active right now click on ladder 2 we have a system ladder 2 we cover this in the the 500 lessons we've got everything you need to learn 500 in there click on this and uh, add a rung sometimes you gotta click twice just drag it down till you get a green uh, box and let go grab the examiner on drag it down to get a green box and let go get an output this is an output energize drag it down to get the green box let go and it puts it where it belongs now you just double click on this and put an I for input and it shows you what input you have available and this would be the inputs on the micrologics itself so you click on I input and then it shows you what the next available bit is it's word it's slot zero word zero bit zero and there you go uh, let's put another one in here examine on and we'll come down here like this so double click on it put in an I for input click on I for input double click it and you see the next one is slot zero which is the uh, micrologix itself that's the actual uh, controller itself and you'll see it's word zero bit one it gives you the next bit now I don't have to take this one I can double click that and put that in and then I can back over and make this bit three if I want now if I add another one like an examine off I can again put in input I put in I for input and you'll see it's trying to give me the next available bit one again I can put in six seven whatever I want or I can take the next available take the next available bit uh, which would be one and we can fill up the uh, chassis with it so I'm going to delete this just highlight it and hit delete or um, you can go delete here with a menu by right clicking and selecting delete now on the output the same as the input except you put an O double click it put in an O and it says output double click the output it gives you the first available bit that would be slot 0 the controller word 0 bit 0 and there you go all right, if we want to see this work, uh, we could download it into our uh, emulator. So, first thing we want to do is verify the project. That gets rid of these errors, and it compiles the program. Now, we can save this, save this as, and we'll save it. Um, well, this is a B, uh, and the emulator won't do a B, so we have to go to uh, controller properties, double click it should have done an A it won't download it and change it from a B to an A so we change it from a Micrologix B to a Micrologix series 1400 A and hit apply and resize the data table and OK don't clear your I.O. that will wipe out everything we've done and OK recompile the program by verifying the project Okay. Oops. I can't do that either. I got to drag window first. Let me make this window smaller. Okay. Now click on emulate. <clears throat> and we're going to do file open or we can just use the folder open pick our project uh, 
we put it where we put it under test where we save this project at file save as and it's under my documents uh, let's put it in test and we'll call it test and um, processor name we'll call the processor name test and save so we compiled it we saved it now under test we should see test there's test and there's RSS that's our program we open this up now before I do this I want to show you something here if we go into the 500 emulator we see all we have is workstation here under our 500 emulator this is RS links classic gateway this is our communication software and you'll see there's no processor here now since I give us a station remember we have to give it something higher than zero because zero is our workstation we can give it a one or we can give it a two we'll give it a one okay leave all this just the way it is and say okay now click on run now if you come over here and you look at your RS links again expand it up now you see you got a MicroLogix 1400 running if we go over here and we say uh, go online we gotta upload or we can download either way so we go communications and system comms and we got who active go online so we click on who active go online and we come down to our emulator and we'll see our micrologics here click on it and hit OK and now we're online we're online with it because we started it in the uh, we started it in the emulator. Now in the emulator, you don't see anything. It just it's just a, a program running. It's just a little emulator program running, uh, but it allows us to see what's happening here. So if I turn on this bit with a toggle, toggle bit, you notice it comes on. Now I toggle this bit from a zero to a one, and my output comes on. If I talk, I need both of this, this one and this one. So if I toggle one off, it'll go off. I can go to this output and I can say force it on, and it gives me a force on, but it doesn't work like a real PLC. Uh, the soft logics is a real PLC and it works like a real PLC. Uh, the emulator 500 doesn't work like a real PLC. It does most things, uh, remove force here. It does most things like a PLC and allows you to run timers and counters and stuff like that. But it, it doesn't want to do seal ins and stuff like that. It doesn't really do everything that a real um, Slick 500 or MicroLogix would do. You're better off, if you really want to learn the RS Logix 500, you're better off buying something like a MicroLogix and you can get them from $75 to $100 and get your real MicroLogix with a serial cable or get it with Ethernet. Most of the, uh, like the, the 1400B, I don't know about the A, the 1400B has an Ethernet adapter and you just plug in an Ethernet cable off your switch off the back of your modem router and uh, you can communicate with it. You can program all day and it does has real input and output. You can take 24 volts and hit it to the uh, input and watch it actually turn on and work uh, you could drive a little relay it has a 0 to 10 volt out so you could put a little 0 to 10 volt fan on there and change the speed of the fan you can take a 9 volt battery and a potentiometer and you can dial in 0 to 9 volts is 0 to 10 volts in but you can dial in 0 to 9 volts and write a PID program to uh, control the speed of the fan so you can do a lot of programming with the 1400 for about a hundred bucks. <clears throat> okay, we've pretty much covered the uh, RS Logix 500 
and how it works. Uh, we've got lots of lessons on the LearnControlSystems.com. You go to PLCs and lessons, and uh, Slick 500 was RS Logics 500, and it covers both MicroLogics and Slick 500. Uh, they focus on the MicroLogics. It's the newer processor, and it'll be around for a long time. Uh, the Slick 500 will be discontinued this year, 2022. Uh, but they'll be around for another five or ten years. It's just they're not going to produce them anymore. Um, but the MicroLogics will be around for years yet, so they're well worth learning how to program. Uh, they're used on machines a lot. Okay, we pretty much covered this. Just go check out the lessons and you can learn 500. <clears throat> and you can learn 500. Okay, thank you.